So, uh, last time, this is this is when they just slit your throat. <sighs> Ugh. The heck, man? Come on. <sighs> oh goodness. Yeah, hurry it along. Come on, come on. We don't have all day. So, this time, we're gonna go get us a witch. Ah, there are easier ways to get down, but yeah, I'm not gonna do them. Oh, where's the doll? What are you? What are you doing up here, doll? Would you ever think to love me? Oh, don't ask chat that. Of course. This is that. Uh, this is that lady of the night that we uh, told to find her find safety here. Oh, she's taught me a curtsy. What is it with the ladies in the chapel and um, just teaching me how to just act like a, a murderer lady? What's uh, fun, and I use the word fun very loosely, uh, is if you take the uh, if you take Arabella's blood three times, uh, then uh, our, our friendly our friendly nun here uh, murders her. We found Eileen the Crow again. Oh, she's taught me how to shh. Oh, all right. Oh, yep. It's a uh, it's a minigun wheelchair grandpa. Four, three words that uh, you weren't expecting to hear on this stream, but I think you were probably hoping. Blood ministration is, of course, the pursuit of communion. So we're learning that blood is very important to these, to the healing church and to various sort of god figures. I'm starting to think, and by think I mean give some exposition, uh, that this blood they're referring to may be the blood of, uh, well, strange beings. Oh, that thing would have given me some treasure, but it fell off. So, incidentally, I didn't actually probably contextualise, I just sort of charged forward and started murdering grandpas with a hammer. Uh, this is the old hunter's workshop, where they used to make all the trick weapons uh, before uh, everything went real bad. It's divided between uh, us, the stray- oh no! I- oh. <laughs> Frank, what do you mean stop dying? I don't understand. Falling off that- tower has really thrown me off. Okay. But yeah, up there is the upper cathedral ward, which we'll visit later, and it is one of... I'm gonna be real, there's some demon babies. Oh, you have my echoes. But not any. They were in your belly, and I pulled them out. So now we can go down, because down this tower uh, is... <laughs> Well, you'll see. It's also kind of tricky to access, and you'll you'll see what I mean in a second. So, firstly, you might just fall. So, uh, there's you might think, okay, that's cool, Johnny. Where are the stairs? Where's the ladder? Uh, the answer is that there there ain't one, which means that to get to that door there, we need to do some creative falling. Let's heal up first, just to make sure that we no that is. So not that way, chat. I'm just, I'm just falling. I'm just trying to figure out the best way to fall. You know what? Let's give it a shot, chat. Oh, no, I missed! <sighs> I was so close. Oh, hang on, there's, there's also a secret, hold on. What do we got here? We can do this later. You're right, I will forget. Formless Erden. Both Erden and his inadvertent worshippers surreptitiously seek the precious blood. So, the healing church is clearly somehow connected to Erden. I can put my little goblins in an urn! They can wear pots! Uh, yeah, later I'll make my, mes my messengers wear pots on their heads, uh, and you guys will think it's cute. So yeah, Erden, blood, old ones... A medium. It's all it's all coming together. You know what? Let's just see if we can let's just see if we Whoa! What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? 
This is it. This is the stream now, just so everyone's aware. Uh, it's watching a man throw an old lady down a pit uh, until she doesn't die. In many ways, this chamber of bridges uh, is... I'm not going to call it a boss, uh, but it's my own personal second blood-starved beast. Let's try this way, because down there is a... Yes! Oh, I'm hurt. She's hurt. But... She lives! What could be behind this door? What? Not only in the hunter's dream, but in the hunter's reality? Where the grave the doll was kneeling by? An old hunter bone. A third umbilical cord. And over here... is a doll. A normal... an abandoned doll. The fireplace before which I have sat so many times is now cold. Every great one loses its child and then yearns for a surrogate. The third umbilical cord precipitated the encounter with the pale moon, which beckoned the hunters and conceived the hunter's dream. Boom! Turns out, Bloodborne, it's a big old pregnancy metaphor thing, but also eldritch horror gods. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but Zim is stressed that you didn't light the lamp, and so I would like you to go and light the lamp, please. You're realistically never going to come back here. There you are. You're realistically never going to come back here. But yeah, Bloodborne's all about weird cosmic pregnancies. Oh! Hey, uh, Frank. Thank you for reminding me about that lamp. What are you? Oh shoot, I remember what you are. Oh! Mm. Okay chat, here we go. Yep. Here it is. Sucking out my brains. And I really don't want that to happen very often, because that actually... That actually loses insight. I don't know if you remember, chat, but it used to be evening, and now it is night. The moon is fully out. Uh, this happened because we killed Vicar Amelia. When you kill Vicar Amelia, um, it goes from evening, from sort of late afternoon, evening to night, and all the church giants are asleep. Oh, incidentally, there are a couple of hunters here uh, who are real dickheads. So we're probably going to to not draw out the second because if they try to if they start to hit you at the same time, you're in a real bad way. Yeah. Okay, so you're not going to be a problem anymore, but you're also the easier of the two, so we'll see how we go. Because this guy is an infinite gun guy, and if there's one thing I hate, it's an infinite gun man. Oh. God, just such a nippy little bastard. Father Gascon, I was like, oh, it's not fair that he gets infinite bullets, but it didn't really bother me. This guy, I'm like, come on. Got lots of ammo now, so let's just... How do you like it? Oh yeah, not so fun when you're being just... gun spammed. I should really like my blood tinge, so... <laughs> Now who just got shot loads of times and then died like a prick. Not many blood vials left though, so... Oh, okay. How about you? Yeah, like we'll, we'll make like a ghost and knock. I'm going to say down here, we're probably not finding many survivors. Are we, are we having a standoff or are you just... Yeah, all right. I mean, <sighs> I get it. I, I suppose you know. Sometimes you just reach that point, and you're like, "Can I be bothered?" So I can actually. You remember that small hair ornament uh, that we uh, that we found? What? What is this? Oh, I've got a tear stone because she's she's cried, and it's a rock because uh, you know dolls. I, I'm, I fucked up a bit, though, because I should have actually looked at the description of that hair ornament. Because uh, it makes it clear that, yeah, the doll did used to belong to Gammon, 
the like the weirdo in the wheelchair who's like <laughs> just hunt some monsters you'll feel better um and it, it makes it clear that like gammon owned that doll in a creepy way uh and definitely modeled it after someone though it's not entirely clear who just yet let's put them in some pots you remember i promised you i promised that look at them they're wearing pots what are you doing you little fools that's not how pots work. Uh, so this door is currently closed. Oh! And... Yeah, so... Yeah, the question is, what is that thing? You can barely see it! Oh! Oh no. Oh, chat. Oh. Dear, darling, foolish chat. We didn't actually spend those blood echoes, did we? We got distracted giving the doll a pretty comb. That, we, I just died in order to, to illustrate a thing on the wall that will just be really cool later. Well, I mean, it's kind of cool now because it's a half-invisible monster lurking on the wall and squeezing you to death. But, oh, chat, I've got to go back. What can monsters go? Oh, okay, bye. But if I go there, if I go there, it's going to grab me again. Okay, okay, just gotta... Just gotta run. Just gotta run. Don't let it grab you. Don't let it grab you. This guy... is a prick. So, chap, do we want to send him to the clinic with friendly, definitely not sinister Yosefka, or to the chapel um, with your latest friend and mine? Oh, he loves the incense, keeping away the beasts! Uh, and also with uh, Arabella and the nun. Do, 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 do. Oh, I still haven't spent those echoes. <laughs> that must be stressful for you guys. A lot of clinic. 99% clinic. All right. Yeah, sorry. Too sharp for that bollocks. I know a superstition when I hear one. Joke's on you, chat. He didn't believe me, so now he's going to go to the chapel instead. So the Holy Blade, it's silver sword, exactly like the Kirk Hammer, except as a trick weapon. It can be a really big sword! Let's get out the flame th sprayer as well. So that... Ha 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 ha! Oh no, wait, this is my workshop. I shouldn't, I shouldn't burn it down. So now, chat. Now. We can go kill a witch. The manifestation of madness comes from a mind teetering on the very brink. But has a sane mind ever produced anything of true significance? stares directly into camera. Oh, here he is! Here he is! You remember that guy that you tried to send to Yosefka's clinic to get killed? And he's here now! He's safe! He's safe because of you, chat! I can't remember if we're at the stage where Henrik's actually there, or whether he's going to be there later, but let's find out. There he is! Hey, Eileen! Oh, no! Get off her! Oh, no! Yeah! Me and Eileen, the dream team! Crow and Grandma, Granny and Crow! That wasn't necessary of you, but you have my thanks. You must have killed Gascoigne as well, then. I did. It was real cool. A hunter should hunt beasts. Leave the hunting of hunters to me. <laughs> yeah! Yeah. Good work, chat. Incidentally, I'm... Like, I don't even need to look at it to know that you guys are powerfully shipping uh, Vina Carver and Eileen the Crow. Uh, and I'm going to be honest, a little bit too. A little bit too. Now we can go hunting for a witch. I love that in Bloodborne, basically, the world is divided into Yarnum and graveyards, uh, and those are the those are the two types of terrain. Here we find ourselves in a forest full of full of dogs with knives strapped to them and people with guns. Oh, I forgot how weirdly these these things move. Don't like them, chat. Don't like them. I'm gonna be real with you, chat. I would describe this as a bad forest. 
and we've got a new type of angry villager. Old ladies, they want to kill me. Yeah. Hemwick is, um, I'll be honest, it's also in quite a bad way. Oh, I enjoy this bit because this is a very narrow bridge on which, if you're not careful, you have to fight a very big troll. <sighs> okay, this is... I don't know if you agree, chat, but I feel that got out of hand. You know what? She's she's just she's just vibing. I'm gonna leave yeah, her. Leave her. Leave her be. She's living her best life. She is living her best life. <sighs> no, don't kill me. I wanted to kill that thing and get some prizes. If it hadn't been for the fact that he did that dog just jump into the fire and burn itself to death. Ha! <laughs> Loser. Oh. Okay. Oh, another throat slitter. A good horror story should end on a single really strong image or moment. Uh, like a real lurch in the stomach. And fundamentally everything before that is uh, a build-up. It's horror foreplay. It's getting you in the right dread mind space that when that final image occurs, it just hits you. Oh, good. Chat hates horror foreplay as much as I <laughs> Apparently you guys hate the phrase horror foreplay. Well, I'm not even apologising. You're going to have to sit with that. You hate it because you deep down you know it's true. Uh, oh, we have 44,000 blood echoes and we're about to go into a boss. It'll probably be fine. Uh -huh. There she is. An old lady covered in barnacles and or eyes. I'll be honest... This isn't my favourite boss fight in Bloodborne, because uh, it's it's one of those ones where if you manage it right, it's actually, it can actually be a little bit dull, because uh, you're just killing the things as they turn up and waiting for the moment where you can uh, go and hit the witch. But if you're managing it right, it's it's not the most dynamic of the fights. If they're surprised, that's on them. Uh, so you might think, oh, that's the end of the boss fight. Unfortunately, there are actually two witches. It seemed like there was just the one witch, but that was a lie the game told us. There are two. You know, the reason that she's... Oh, no, they've... She's... Oh, no, I forgot that they can resurrect each other if I don't kill them quick enough together, uh, and they can immobilize me if I'm not careful. Also are running long. Okay, so you remember how I was like, it'll be fine. Uh, and then I was bad-mouthing this as a not particularly interesting boss fight. Well, you know who the joke's on, chat. Do you know who the joke is on? Oh, no, she's... she's got me. She's... ah... He's... Old ladies love... Old ladies love my neck. Yeah! Oh, no! Okay. I keep forgetting. It takes a moment for these things to die after... So it's perfectly possible to kill the witch and then be like, Woo! I killed a pair of witches! And then uh, just get murdered by all those things because uh, you forgot they were still alive. The hunter who retrieves this workshop tool can etch carol runes into the mind to attain their wondrous strength. Provost Willem, apparently, wasn't a big fan of using blood to uh, get in human power and would much rather just brand the sigils of the Great Ones right into your brain. And here, now I have the tool, the memory altar, uh, I can just, yeah, I can I can burn some, some runes into my uh, mind, which is can only be a good idea. Oh, we have the password! Technically, this whole session has been one big side quest, uh, so we're next going to go into... You remember how hard it was to make our way through and figure out where we were in that forest full of gun people? Well, you guys are going to love the forest full of snakes! And next stream, I think I'm going to be back with the hammer. I think, I think we've used... Like, the sword is good. You know, I can see why it's generally considered one of the best. Uh, but it it isn't my hammer, you know? So thank you once again for joining us for Bloodborne. 
and may the good blood guide your way.